Burgers, soda, chips, and chocolate all sound like an amazing food choice, especially if you're hungry. But sometimes companies around the world make weird flavors that we never ever want to try. Stick around to see the weirdest Pringles we have ever seen and you won't believe where they come from. Hola! Did you hear about our latest addition to our family? The richest Espanol is the perfect place for all you native Spanish speakers out there. Don't speak Spanish? No problem! Come on over! This is the perfect place to practice. Amazing facts, interesting people, and funny pictures. Nos vemos ahí! Green Tea Kit Kat Let's head to Japan where green tea Kit Kats are still a huge topic of discussion. We all know Kit Kats are usually made of wafers and absolutely covered with chocolate. But that's not how it works for every Kit Kat out there. Green tea Kit Kats are a popular Japanese treat, and as you might have noticed, they're not chocolatey, they're actually green. If you've ever had green tea, you know it can sometimes taste bitter. However, when brewed correctly, it's actually pretty sweet, which is why these green tea Kit Kats are so good. Green tea is also known to have many health benefits, although we can vouch that those still exist when you combine it with chocolate and wafers. These Kit Kat bars are so good. The demand for weird flavors is becoming higher and higher in Japan. And it's not just the green tea that's a popular weird flavor. Japan has over 300 seasonal and limited edition Kit Kat flavors out there, many of which you'd never be able to get anywhere else in the world. Don't know about you, but we're on the verge of booking a ticket to Japan and trying out every single one of them. If you ever do head to Japan to try these delicious treats, stop at Kit Kat Chocolatory, Nestle's official Kit Kat store, where you can find many more flavors of this weird chocolate bar. Fish and Chip Gelato as much as we know that fish and chips are an iconic meal in the UK, it's not the only country known for this dish. Australia is also the land of fish and chips, but Australians seem to take the flavor to a new level. Let us introduce you to the fish and chip gelato. Sure, it might sound crazy, and we can't blame you if you feel grossed out. The ice cream flavor took five months to develop and was worked on by Italian flavor scientists who make and test the majority of gelato flavors. Well, even though it was tested, the fish and chip flavor is a hit or miss for many. And according to a few reviews, the taste is far from fishy, and you can barely taste the salt and vinegar. In fact, a lot of people claim it's absolutely delicious and kind of sweet. But you have to admit that a gelato with a fish and chip flavor doesn't sound that appealing at first. Even looking at the actual poster for one of the Australian marketplaces that sells this weird gelato flavor doesn't look appetizing. But for some reason, we're desperate to try this one. Would you ever try a fish and chip ice cream flavor, or is that taking it a bit too far. Lamb and mint walkers. Do you love snacking on chips? We bet there are a few flavors out there that you wouldn't even dare to try. Let's leave Australia alone for a minute and head to the UK. British food can sometimes seem strange to the outsiders. You've probably heard of Walker's chips before. They've actually had several limited edition flavor versions that didn't sound as good. We still can't get on board with the whole prawn cocktail thing, but lamb and mint sounds just as bizarre. Roast lamb and mint are popular recipes for advanced chefs, but we're not sure how that would work with chips. According to reviews, it tastes exactly as you think, a potato chip covered with a roasted lamb and mint flavor. If you love Sunday roasts or barbecues, you'd absolutely love this flavor. Along with lamb and mint, British chips offer some other questionable flavors like pork sausage and English mustard, sweet cured ham and pickle, and even oyster and vinegar. Chardonnay wine vinegar is our personal favorite from the Bizarre Collection, but lamb and mint sound just as odd. We all know British people have an interesting taste in food, but we can't ever imagine enjoying some of these. What's the weirdest chip flavor you've ever tried? Let us know in the comments. Banana Split Oreo You probably have at least one friend who's obsessed with Oreos. Ask them if they've ever tried this bizarre flavor. It's time to cross the pond and head over to the good old USA and dive into America's most popular cookies with some of the weirdest flavors ever. Oreos have been taking over the world since 1912. It's pretty hard to not love this chocolate cookie with a delicious filling. Everyone eats Oreos in their own special way, but we're not sure everyone would approve of the Banana Split Oreo. This flavor of cookie was released twice, first in 2008 and again in 2013. On the outside, the cookie has one chocolate and one normal side. And on the inside, it has a half strawberry, half banana filling. Unfortunately, a lot of people haven't had a good opinion on this cookie due to its weird banana taste. If you've ever experienced anything with artificial banana flavor, you'll know that it's never as good as it claims to be. Maybe it's the overwhelming mix of flavors that just don't really vibe together. However, we know that 
in reality, chocolate cookies, strawberries, and bananas would be incredibly delicious together. What do you think? Is it a yay or a nay for this weird and colorful banana split Oreo? Honey Soy Chicken Chips How do you like your chips? Do you prefer them salty or sweet? These odd-sounding chips belong to an Australian company called the Red Rock Deli, known for combining unusual ingredients and giving your typical chips brand new flavors. Green chili and coriander is our personal favorite, but we just can't imagine what honey soy chicken chips would actually taste like. The soy and honey would make them sweet, and we're not sure if that would be such a good idea. They're advertised as gourmet chips that are slow cooked in sunflower oil and seasoned with subtle and sweet flavors of soy sauce, chicken, and honey. We've just got used to people putting ketchup on their popcorn, and the sound of sweet chips doesn't seem any better than that. But we bet there are many people out there who can't get enough of this sweet tasting snack. Of course, they're not the only odd chips that come from Australia. You've probably heard that the country adores Vegemite, which is one of the spreads many consider to be absolutely horrible tasting. It's impossible to even describe the actual bitter taste of it, but perhaps those who don't like Vegemite itself would actually love these Vegemite chips. If you had to choose between honey soy chicken or Vegemite flavored chips, which one would you go for? We vote for honey soy chicken. Pepsi White We all know Japan is known for experimenting with food, but we were still surprised when we heard about this. Pepsi has some weird flavors, but nothing prepared us for Pepsi White. We have no idea what this would actually taste like, but remember that it's a carbonated drink. Pepsi released a white-colored version of everyone's favorite soda and turned it into yogurt flavor. Yes, you heard that right. It tastes like yogurt. In 2008, Pepsi Japan released a limited version of Pepsi White, a yogurt-flavored soda. The idea behind it came because Japanese consumers began to change their diet and stepped away from unhealthy drinks. In order to complement the health-conscious customers, Pepsi created this yogurt-flavored soda. The product definitely got attention. The cloudy color might be a little off-putting, but the taste of this Pepsi isn't actually yogurt. It comes off as lemony with a hint of vanilla, which is understandable considering you're still drinking soda. Some even consider it has a sweet taste. If you find that surprising, you really shouldn't be, because Pepsi Japan also produce products like Ice Cucumber Pepsi. We really need to go to Japan and take a week to experience every possible odd food flavor they have. In 2008, Pepsi's slogan was called Something for Everyone, but we're not sure Sure it would apply to their yogurt flavored drink. Baconese. It might be weird, but we promise you'll love it. Baconese originates from the US and it was created by a company called JD's Foods. This company produces bacon flavored items that include anything from food to lip balms. But a bacon flavored mayonnaise? We're not sure how to feel about that. America has a long lasting relationship with bacon, and we've seen products like bacon soda and even cologne, so we really shouldn't be surprised that there's a bacon mayonnaise out there. But we never thought that this mayo is actually completely vegetarian. The founders combined the elements of vegetables that give the same smoky, savory, and salty taste, just like bacon does. And believe it or not, this product is also kosher certified. It honestly sounds like heaven on earth. This company creates a lot of bacon products that originally started as a complete joke or even an April Fool's prank. But because the US is pretty much in love with bacon, they're able to sell just about anything, including the awesome looking bacon A's. In fact, their bacon lip balm had a waiting list of 5,000 people, and the product wasn't even made yet because it was just a joke at first. Have you ever tried bacon let us know what you thought about it because we're buying 20 jars next time we see it in the store. Elderflower Fanta Pepsi is not the only one coming up with weird flavors in other countries. If you visited Eastern European countries like Bulgaria and Hungary before 2006, you probably saw a blue-looking Fanta sold in stores. Although the color looks way too intense, this Fanta is made of lemon and elderflower. It's called Shokata, and it's a soda lover's favorite limited edition drink. The blend is completely unique, and it's one of the most refreshing drinks ever, even though the original flavor name doesn't make it sound that appealing. If you love soda, you'll love this. 
The first Fanta flavor, Fanta Orange, came out in 1955, and since then the company made over 90 flavors worldwide. Some are limited edition, others have been discontinued, and some sound completely weird. One of those is definitely the Lemony Elderflower Fanta. Others include Jamaica's Apple Lime Fanta or Finland's Strawberry Twist, which has a strawberry and kiwi taste. If you're really desperate to try Elderflower Fanta but can't find it anywhere near you, you should step by IKEA and grab one of their elderflower syrups. Although it's not the same as the carbonated drink, it'll give you a pretty good impression of what to expect with elderflower Fanta taste. Our question is, would you prefer the elderflower Fanta or the yogurt-flavored Pepsi White? Our vote goes to elderflower Fanta. Black Bun Burgers you must be pretty hungry by now. And unfortunately, things are about to get worse. Let's talk about fast food. More specifically, the black bun burgers that originated in Japan, but can now be found all around the world. Japan is clearly the winner of the weirdest food flavors because we're not done yet with exploring the amazing food of this country. In 2014, Burger King Japan came out with Halloween-themed black burgers that included black buns, cheese, and sauce, which was made with charcoal. These sandwiches don't look appealing at all, and it looks like they leave a big mess after you're done with them. According to Burger King Japan's marketing team, this was a way to gain attention. The team explained that their ad budgets are too small for any promotional campaigns, so instead, they decided to come up with something else. They really did a good job because the black sandwiches speak for themselves and McDonald's joined in on the craze shortly after. And the taste? It tasted exactly like a regular Burger King burger and without a trace of anything that would give away its color. They clearly knew what they were doing, as you can find these burgers just about anywhere. What do you think? Is it a yay or a nay for black burgers from Japanese Burger King? Seaweed Pringles but Japan is not the only country that's known for exotic food flavors. The most bizarre tasting product we could find belonged to China. They were seaweed Pringles. If you don't like the taste of seaweed, you probably won't like this. But it's definitely a snack you have to try at least once in your life. Seaweed Pringles are green, but they are still regular potatoes covered in seaweed. We're not entirely sure how appealing that might sound to you, but we'll try to explain the flavor the best way we can. You might think these crisps would be way too salty because of the seaweed, but the truth is, they really lowered the levels of salt on this one. Each chip even has bits of sugary coating, which means it's a lot sweeter than you would expect. They're also not as thin as your regular seaweed snacks. In fact, many claim they don't taste like seaweed at all. They almost taste like regular Pringles. If you do want to enhance the seaweed taste, we recommend grabbing actual seaweed and placing it on top. And if you're looking for more weird Pringles from China, you should check out the crab or grilled shrimp flavor. We can't tell you what they taste like, but let's just say we'd stick to seaweed Pringles if we had to choose between the three. What was the weirdest food you've ever tried? Let us know in the comments. For more videos like this one, check out 10 foods you'll never buy again after knowing how they are made. See you next time.